Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, and as well uh, Scorpio Rising. Monthly tarot reading, guys, for November 2019. And uh, bear with me just a second here to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we are going to jump right into it. All right, so the first card, which stands for the topic of uh, our month here, that is going to be the Ten of Cups, followed by the next one, which represents the challenges that we need to overcome throughout the month, that is going to be the Six of Cups, followed by the third one, which represents the uh, best possible approach, or rather like intentions, what kind of intentions we should have throughout the month here, <clears throat> so we can achieve the most out of it. The fourth card stands for the lesson that we need to learn throughout the month, or in other words, why this is all happening to us. That will be the Tree of Pentacles. And then the last one uh, here, it's going to be in regards to the uh, positive energies that are to support us throughout the month, as Scorpios throughout the month. That is to be the Eight of Pentacles. So, uh, quite a very uplifting month, it is what is in front of us. Uh, but before we go into that and pick up the cards one by one, let's uh, run them down one more time. <clears throat> so, Ten of Pentacles is going to be the topic and the theme of the month, followed by the Six uh, Ten of Cups, excuse me, followed by the Six of Cups, which stands for the um, challenges that we need to overcome. The third card stands as the Seven of Pentacles here, that is to be our intentions. The fourth card, it is the lesson that we need to learn, what the month is going to teach us, that is to be the Three of Pentacles. And the final card here, it is about the energies that are, that are to support us throughout the month, that is to be the Eight of Pentacles. All right, so... Um, Ten of Cups uh, is going to be catalyzed by the Chariot card. And it kind of makes sense with the follow-up that I saw in the reading. So we do have a passive supporters in this particular case. And uh, throughout the months of November, our life, either all of a sudden or slowly progressing, is going to become more exciting, more thrilling, if you want to say it that way, more emotionally abundant with positive emotions, or in other words, is going to start worth living more and more once again. Now, however, uh, <clears throat> these cards here are kind of like a uh, predisposers, Scorpios, from making some haste actions, or rather like a premature actions, premature de decisions, like jumping prematurely into one relationship because we see only the uh, the face of it, or rather like the facade of it. Jumping into business endeavor just because we find them lucrative without making our research about it and so on and so forth. 
Now, important thing to be said about these two cards, it is that while triumph is definitely possible and it is, well, not only just possible guys, but it is at our hand, um, <clears throat> this triumph is gonna be conquered, it's not going to be gifted to us. And for that reason, uh, we have to be a little bit more, I would say calculative, whatever endeavors and enterprises we're choosing to involve ourselves with, because they will uh, require the, the, the luck of our hard work, right? Our workship is going to be requested. So we can, uh, at the end of the day, establish ourselves as a emotionally abundant and uh, feeling successful, feelingly successful person. And additionally to that, it is the month by far where we can start placing some efforts or some assets into a um, agendas that we are finding them as wish of ours. So these two cards also make points that now is the time to make our wishes fulfilled. And when I'm talking about wishes, I'm not talking about the low level wishes as a specific person or as a specific job, but more like a wish to be happy a wish to be loved or wish to love someone, wish to be successful. How this is gonna happen? Well, pretty much we're gonna know about it, all right? And it all comes to that, do we have the balls to do it? Because uh, here there is that line where we are to most likely gonna feel cozy and comfortable into our current place. And uh, a certain steps outside of this cozy and um, warm place are to be requested or in other words we need to amplify a little bit that side of our human nature that we no matter how much we have we should ask or rather like aim for a little bit more right and that is exactly what is going to provoke the growth and in some cases in most of the cases the premature actions and decisions as well so the other card here points to the challenges that we need to overcome we do have the six of cups and it is accompanied here by the two of cups so apart from indulging oneself with only the um, the primal uh, emotions of um, of love and and mutual share i don't know how to say it when you do share you know a mutual interest or even even your life with someone <clears throat> and being more attentive to the uh to the small things of it uh, ig ignorant to the uh bigger picture ignorant to the to the overview of the situation that is truly the challenge no different than being with someone just because you like the sex with it or being in this job just because um it's um, it hours that you are to work fits well with your routine and neglecting the fact that sex is going to be just a sex and nothing more or neglecting the fact that the job doesn't give you growth so these kind of barriers it is the challenge that one needs to foresee throughout uh, this um, throughout this month and kind of push those bar barriers a little bit further with uh, certain calculative actions that you can take toward the issues and toward the endeavors themselves. Now, another challenge that you may face, Scorpio, is shyness. What I mean is that there could be people that want to be connected with you in, in one or another way, you know, either business-wise or relationship-wise, but they do expect from you to, or from us, to do our part as well. So take it that way that there is a uh, a distance in between you two, they have did their part or they have traversed their uh, their portion of the business of the distance, excuse me. And now it is your your moment, or it is it is weighted on you to uh, traverse your part of the business. It's kind of like reaching to each other. So should you crave for a, a relationship, Scorpio? I would say with these cards. I'm sorry guys, uh, my phone called and I'm using it to record because I cannot find uh, a better camera than that. Um, at least not such camera that can fit with my technology and it rang and so yeah. Anyway, so where was I is this that um, it will be required from you to do your part as well from the mutual interaction and acquaintance. And um, uh, here it is the shyness that can obstruct you, but additionally to it, uh, I was about to say something different. Look, I, I got distracted here. 
Um, so yeah, should we crave for relationship, as I was about to say, it is that we we do have the prerequisite. So rather like we with these cards, there are there is a person that is around us that has the chemistry toward us. Now the challenge is going to be, are we going to find the same kind of chemistry or are we are willing to look this person as something more than just a friend or we are going to keep them stuck into the friendship zone? So the third card that we do have is going to be uh, in regards to the intentions that we need to have here. And that is the seven of uh, pentacles with the uh, hangman. Now we do have a passive friend. And these two cards are not just screaming, guys. They are ululating for take your time. Do not make up your mind straight away. Explore that opportunity that comes to you. Explore these heights of uh, emotional fulfillment and see if this is your thing or it is not your thing. Now, with these two cards, intentional wise, we should not satisfy with whatever life presents to us, all right? We definitely have to wait for the right thing to come around. And for what it seems, it should come around throughout this month, but we should patiently wait for it to come around and to make those actions at that point when the thing come around in one way or another. But these two cards here are pointing that the blockages we do have either career wise or at least for me is going to be relationship wise i'm pretty peculiar i'm pretty curious uh, throughout this month what is going to happen because to me that screams about a relationship really um i they, they're going to be lifted so to me that means that there will be someone with interests toward me all right in the month of november now it is my choice however should i give them a chance or not because the seven of pentacles intentional wise it's kind of like a double-edged sword all right it kind of urges us intentionally to stow the situation as much as we can so we we can see is our are excuse me are our investments into it are going to have a return they're going to have a return with the interest so i would say that the time in which we only gave and only was taken from us is kind of over and now it's time for us to take and to give and in generally to reach something with a balanced nature so the next one it is in regards to the uh, lesson that we are to learn here we do have the tree of pentacles and the card it is catalyzed here by the tree of swords so uh double trees we do talk about social circle friends family uh and in generally you know you're relating yourself with other people and definitely throughout this uh throughout this month we are to learn that not every person is for us no matter how much we like them no matter how much you know we either love them or we do have an attraction to them all that matters is who are to uh, support us unconditionally and this is what we are going to learn here the hard way because with these two cards we are going to learn not from positive experience but from a negative experience so we may have to be um, ready to face a little bit of a betrayal but it's not going to be it's going to be not betrayal but let's say disappointment or it could be as well betrayal but instead of uh, making us feel bad it's just going to open our eyes um say you know you date two people and you don't know which one to choose one kind of betrays your trust so it's, it's pretty much throws you in the hands of the other one you don't feel bad because they pretty much seal their own fate so such kind of a um, lesson it is what you're going to learn that you need to focus more upon what makes sense you know what's what what gives you a potential to grow and to build a solid and stable future and not to mention that also the lesson learned here it is a about a not mutual interest but mutual topics mutual themes as well and to find such people who are sharing your topics and your themes and through it you are to make a very um, productive cooperation either in a form of relationships or either in a form of business partnerships right and uh, as well you are to be supported from those people in whatever you're doing and the last one uh, is going to be uh, the eight of pentacles which stands for the 
positive energies that are to support us here. We do have as well the death card and uh, which catalyzes the eight of pentacles and it pretty much points to an, an energies that we are when, when we do see those people that are truly willing to give us something uh, for a return of our givings as well we are to attend to those people and to the situations that involve those people with a great amount of conscientiousness and as well we are going to put an, an eye into the detail in it but the best thing about these energies it is that um, they will help us to um start executing in a plan of ours something that we have considered for a long time and it does involve us cutting some times some ties with the past that kind of made us feel bad right it's just we do want to just shut the door and never open it again so that being said guys this was your monthly tarot reading november 2019 and I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.